welcome to make smart now you are study on partnership what is partnership partnership means people enter into partnership to accumulate money to kick start a business means if anyone start a business they have a, it have a, he have not enough money so oh, want to friend and mix or by helping they are build one of the business and all are contribute from amount of money on this so people enter in a partnership to accumulate money to start a business the money invest by each is called capital each one those amount invest is called capital once the business start to generate income each partner will ask for his own share of profit means if one of the business they stand on to require ten thousand and two friend are going to invest on this one friend also five thousand another also five thousand both are mixing ten thousand and invest one of the business after one one year they get profit six thousand from ten thousand means ten thousand is the capital the mean value that invest both are five five thousand and after the year they get profit six thousand both are equally invest five five thousand so six thousand also divide equally both of them so this is the profit and this is the share of both of them now going to next the question is how much will each receive each each due share each due share now what was i talking this is this is the question is how much will each receive as his due share means i ask both their partners will contribute same amount five five thousand to ten thousand so it may be different maybe one be four thousand another be six thousand be invest similarly now let's go profit is divided into the ratio of capital invest by each and if each partner invest for the same duration or same duration means both are invest in same duration he also invest one year he also invest one year this is the time and capital means amount that invest by investor two friend are invest five five thousand what he also invest one year he also invest one year. so similar divide the share between them so if we equally invest capital and equally invest time means in partnership investment means not only the only capital capital with time mean investment is capital with time both are invest so time also require in invest if without time require how our invest amount grow and give give us the profit so time also required so profit is divided into the ratio of capital invest by each if profit is divided in the ratio of capital invest by each if each partner invest for the same duration so ratio of profit of a b equal to ratio of capital of a b means profit of a is to b equal to ratio of capital of a is to b divided by this now this is the example john and make invest 10000 and 12000 respectively for one year each means john invest 10000 make invest 12000 both are invest and for one year john be john also invest one year and make also and start from small business in an income 110 rupees at the end of the year what is the share of each now how I can divide the profit between them by um, this also determine from their investment means both invest for the same time period one on year therefore profit will be share in the ratio of their capital so ratio of capital 10,000 is to 12,000 is 5 is to 6 so 5 is to 6 this is <coughs> the capital both are invest John share each 5 by 
5 plus 6 into 110 10, then you can get 50 and another 60. A ratio of capital between them, those we can get mix it means 5, 6, mix it 11. They say the 11 equal to 11 equal to 110. Then you divide and divide after divide the amount we can find we can get this multiply to 5 and multiply to 6. We can get this similar share between them. Now, next is profit is divided in the ratio of product of capital and duration of time that each partner invest means sometime some business both partner are invest different amount and different time also it means one is invest um, something amount and its time period is one a means 12 year sorry 12 month and another invest some amount and and its time period is six month this is the difference so ratio of profit equal to ratio of invest time ratio of profit pa is to pb equal to ratio ta is to tv now in this case profit is share in the ratio of product of and time ratio of profit the ratio of product product of capital and time sometime capital multiply with time and then Tell multiply time, then you can get the profit ratio. Now, for a, going to example, G and Benassi invest two thousand and two thousand five hundred to buy some stock. They agree to divide the profit only at the end of the year. Benassi withdraw her money after eight year eight month. How much did each receive if a profit of five hundred fifty was made at the end of the year? Nessi invest 2000 amount here and time period is 8 month but Jimmy sorry Nessi invest huh? and Nessi invest 2500 for 8 month but here Jimmy 2000 12 month here and is profit 550 so how it is divide for each invest different money and different time period so Ratio of profit equal to Jimmy and Nasi. So Jimmy is 2000 amount and time to 12 is multiplied is to Nasi 2500 into 8. And you can get the ratio 6 is to 5. This is the ratio. And by using this ratio, we can divide the share of profit. So 550 divided by the that ratio we can get 6 is to 5 we assume this 6 plus 5 is 11 by divide this into our profit we can get 50 and we can 50 can multiply to 6 and multiply to 5 and multiply that between them so jimmy get 300 and nessie get 250 and on better <coughs> after one profit get one a uh, sorry one share profit get means jimmy get and you can divide a uh, sorry subtract from uh, um, mean profit then you can get another profit now next is ratio of capital if more than one more than two are used so this is the ratio of capital and same time period ratio of profit the ratio of investment time if you give him a question capital given and profit given then you can get the time time period so profit by capital equal to time period now in its before our formula we can get profit equal to time into capital so if you get one to the time then you can divide profit by capital now you can see there so all profit divided by capital then you can get the time period ratio so three person on this concept three person invest 200 250 and 300 to make some income this is the different in different investment capital and profit was share in the four is to five is to six at the end of your end of your means all are similar time period 
similar time period are used how long did each invest the money end of the year okay end of the year so end of the year you are not given the time period of the um, three person so at the end of the year they are getting the profit 4 to 5 to 6 so we know the formula for time period we divide profit by capital so here first ratio of capital calculate 4 to 5 to 6 that capital we divide by our profit 4 to 5 to 6 we can get 1 is to 1 is to 1 means all our duration are same all are same duration only in based on this different capital and getting the different share now next is john put 500 to start up a website make join him with 800 after some time they are time not given for mickey uh, after how, how many time at the end of the year means 12 year they share the property in the resort 3 to 4 at the end of the years means john john starting starting of the site money john starting date to end of the year means 12 month or one year so when did mickey join first calculate how how much time mickey spend on here so profit of john by profit of mickey three to four capital into time capital means john capital is 500 into time is 12 and sorry of john john 500 into 12 and by capital of mickey is 800 and time is not given now let's take t is the time for make by solving the t is 10 means mickey invest 10 more 10 more but here is the investment time is for john is 12 month means two month after two months mike join to john here now next is three person abc agree to work for a contract of fifteen thousand. Three three person agree to work for a contract that demos fifteen thousand. a complete half of the work while b complete half of the remaining and c rest of the work yeah b complete half of the work while b com a complete half b complete half of the remaining means if it 100 work if we get taking 100 so a complete 50 b complete remaining half means 50 have 25 and c rest of the work means 25 is the rest to so c complete means how much income will c re receive as is your share so if we calculate this <coughs> calculate this work then a is to b is to c is equal to 2 is to 1 is to 1 we can getting i am sure so a complete half of the work so another half is left b c is to half of the so c completed one half half left after a finish half of the work so one by four so here we can ask the question how much income will c receive as his income uh, so that how much income this 15 thousand so is here is the uh, work of a is to b is to c a 50 b 25 c also 25 we will divide 2 is to 1 is to 1 so if we sum of this ratio we can get 2 plus 1 plus 1 4 so 15 thousand divided by 4 into c will be 1 so we if we calculate 15 thousand divided by 4 so 4 multiply with 3 12 uh, 3 um, 3 2 5 0 something happen this is the answer you can calculate now next stage thank you please subscribe to my channel make smart and if you understand this then share to your friend and like like this video and put your valuable comment on this comment comment box and i request you to please your friend to request you to please subscribe to my channel thank you